Welcome back everyone, this is Jason Jace bringing you some builds with the Onion Knight. Even though I love the War of the Lions remaster, this was by far the most disappointing addition to the game because they can't equip any abilities. You also can't gain any XP or even level up unless you have a wild boar next to your Onion Knight and someone with Beastmaster around. Lastly, for them to be even half decent, you have to master all the jobs and get the Onion equipment through multiplayer or after beating the game if you are playing on the smartphone version. I also recommend lowering your faith too, as you'll never be able to cast magic. But with that said, the Onion Knight's unique equipment is very overpowered, particularly Onion Armor, Shield, and Sword. The last positive is that they can equip anything. So for our builds, we will be using a male Onion Knight as we will be taking advantage of the male physical attack stat and the fact that we can equip the exclusive items for the ladies. This first setup will be the ultimate build for a male Onion Knight. It's Onion Sword, Onion Shield, Ribbon, Onion Armor, and lastly, Tyner Rouge. We will be doing great damage as our sword has 50 weapon attack, which is the strongest in the game. The Onion Shield is also superior to the Escutcheon too, Ribbon makes us immune to all negative status ailments, and Onion Armor gives us Protect, Regen, Re-Raise, and Shell. Tiny Rouge will give us Haste as well as plus 3 to our MA and PA. An alternate setup which is also very strong is to use all the Onion equipment. It just lacks Haste though. With these two builds, you'll be able to handle most fights in the game and being immune to all negative status ailments as a male is great and you can tackle some of the hardest rendezvous missions because of Ribbon and Onion Glove. The only drawback is that you might not be able to land your attacks very well against human enemies who have shields and cloaks equipped. This was a fast video today as there aren't that many options and variety with the Onion Knight. I will admit that I do love the way Akihiko Yoshida did the art, so I say it was worth having them in the end. I hope you all enjoyed this one, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.